Hi, I'm Gareth and I'm a postgraduate researcher at Bangor University. Hi everyone, my name is Nani and I am a tutor at Buick. Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed and I am a business economics and a finance tutor here at Buick and a PhD student at Bangor Business School. Hi, my name is Bukala and today I'll be talking to you about academic integrity. Academic integrity is the rules and conduct that everyone who works in academia, so everyone in the university world, be they teachers, professors or staff or even students, should follow. And these rules basically tell you how to live university life. You don't copy other people's work, you don't lie about the things that you've done, you don't pretend that you've done things that you haven't actually done. It's about making sure that you're clear and honest about everything. Is the expectation that myself, my students and all academic staff at the college conduct their academic practices in a manner that is regarded as fair, trustworthy. Honesty, respect, ethics, accountability, responsibility and more importantly, um, passion and interest in my academic work. Science itself is reliance on one another and likewise business works the exact same way. If somebody's doing something a little bit shady in the background, it's putting everybody else at a really unfair advantage. So when I'm writing an academic piece of work, I am able to do it myself. I am, it's not something that I bought off an essay bank and it's not something that I paid someone to write it for me. It's the fact that I was able to um, bend my back and do it so that it is coherent and get good grades like an A star or even a B plus or a C plus. But the fact that I was able to put in the work and do it myself, that's academic integrity to me. When you submit a piece of work and wait anxiously for the result and the feedback that follows, and when it finally comes and it's a good mark, that feeling of relief and self-accomplishment is what drives me forward to the next piece of work. What are the challenges I faced while I was studying in the UK? Coming into the UK, one of the biggest challenges for me was the fact that at the master's level, my supervisor told me that the written English is horrible. Of course, it was a very big blow to me because um, this is me coming from a country where we speak English as a second language and I need to learn to write academically. And I think I went back and I I started doing my research and I understood that written, um, academic written English is different from the, um, the normal English that we speak and it's also different from spoken English. So academic integrity was something I was already used to because I did my undergraduate study in a country in Africa but my general awareness of academic integrity increased while I was doing my postgraduate study in the UK. I had to make sure that I was not engaging in plagiarism practices. So what does this mean? This means passing on someone else's work as my work without giving the proper credit to the original author. Likewise, uh, reference it. Referencing just isn't something I'd ever thought about. I'd never done it when I was in college or high school or anything. And then all of a sudden I turn up and it's, okay, everything that you write, references. It all has to be influenced by outside, external, like research papers or whatever, and you have to reference them. One of the biggest challenges is time management. So making sure that you prioritize your studies, but also making sure that you can do everything else in life. So, you know, maybe you have another job, maybe you have other commitments as well. So learning to manage these and not to leave things behind is a really fundamental part of having a strong academic performance. There's always a norm or a way of doing things and the best way to find out um, is to make mistakes and learn from them. So, in terms of strategies to overcome this stuff. My number one advice to any students coming to the UK for education is to be open to learn and be open to change and learn how to adapt. And anyone can achieve this by simply being involved 
being active within your classes and your colleagues and with the community as a whole. But at the end of the day, everybody, no matter where they come from, are at kind of the same stage as you were. They all join in and go, oh my God, what is it that we're having to do here? If you only take two things from this, then these are the two points I want you to take. If you do a little bit of work every night, you have a lot less work to do at the end. And number two, you have not gone to university because you know everything. You are there to learn, so ask questions. As there is no such thing as a stupid question, and I can guarantee someone else is thinking the same thing you are and may not feel confident enough to ask. The best one is I made sure that I attended all my lectures and engaged with all my study materials because this allowed me to know what requirements and expectation was required of me as a student. So I also made sure that I went to my lecturers and my tutors when I had questions, ensuring that I was conducting my academic work with integrity in mind. And so really, the way that I saw it, and the way that I try to encourage my students to see it, is that it's all about trial and error. Just keep giving it a go. Do it again, do it again, and just practice. Us as the tutors are here to help you guys. I always tell my students, if you want to try out referencing or anything like that, you know, 100% sure how to do it, send the information to me whenever, email it to me, and we can have a look at it together. Because at the end of the day, none of us expect you to just walk in day one and go, yep, I know what I'm doing, I know how to do it, no problem. It is a learning experience and it does take a while. At the end of the course, you get to own that accomplishment. Stand proud of what you have achieved and look how far you've come from day one to now. The mistakes you might have made along the way as well have only made you a stronger person. And this is the power of academic integrity. I was able to learn from that experience. And if I didn't learn from that experience, I possibly wouldn't be where I am today. I hit a brick wall and I was able to learn from it and still come out stronger. Despite all the challenges, through constant hard work, I promise you that it is worth it when you graduate at the end of your degree and start the exciting next chapter of your careers. So stick with it.